Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and I want to talk to you today about setting the float height on an HIF carburetor. HIF, Horizontal Integral Float, HIF. And this replaced the HS carburetor, which, uh, according to many MG mechanics, is probably the, the better carburetor. Let's, uh, let's come on in. Let's take a look at the float here and um, get this guy in my vise here pretty straight. Here's the float. Here's the float. And there's the spring loading. That's a real, that's a real strong spring on my needle and seat. Now when I lay the straight edge down on here, it should not deflect the float. I've always done it so it just barely touches it. But I looked in the book just now and it said it's supposed to be one millimeter between the bottom of this and the bottom of the scoop of the float here. One millimeter. That's, that is one and a half thirty seconds of an inch. So it's just some clearance just some clearance and it uh, we have to be very cautious about bending anything too far because here here we go that's bent far too much so now I've got to bend him back up again and the whole goal here is to get this scoop in the float so it's 1 32nd well, one and a half thirty seconds, five sixty fourths, one millimeter of an inch away from the straight edge. And I would say we're coming up real close to it here. It's just tricky to do, and it, I'm still just touching it over and over and over. There we go. There's there's a gap there. There is a gap. Is that three sixty fourths, one millimeter, one twenty fifth of an inch? Uh, it's around there. The problem we have sometimes here is that the spring here, this this spring that's that's in the needle and seat, the spring right down in here. Sometimes that's a very weak spring, and and the and the weight of the float, once you turn it up, will do this, and it, it'll it'll push through that spring. Well, you want to you want to measure the float just as it touches the spring. So sometimes you have to do it on the side like this. You can't do it straight up because the float will collapse the spring, but you have to you have to do it on the side so that the the uh, the weight of the float doesn't collapse the spring. So anyway, HIFs, they leak a lot. Uh, they get to junk inside them. The, uh, the old gross jets used to be pretty good, um, but those are, those are made in China now, and they, for some reason they don't, they're either not as good as they used to be, or the gasoline is stickier. And over a period of time, those gross jets will either stick open or stick closed. Hey, I want to remind everybody that I'm going to be at Bob Connell's in Indianapolis on April, I think it's 12th, Saturday. If you have any questions at all, you can call University Motors, or you can call Bob Connell's MG Service in Indianapolis. And Carl Heidemann and I are having a Tuning for Speed seminar, a three-day heavy-duty seminar uh, on um, May 30th, May 30th, of the weekend after Memorial Day. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys later.